At this hour, at least 13 people have died in Florida from Hurricane Ian. More than 30,000 people are staying in shelters, and the storm has just been upgraded from a tropical storm back to a hurricane as it heads out into the Atlantic before targeting other states along the East Coast. Really a continuing disaster there. Right now in the studio, we have Phil Martinez, Executive Director with the American Red Cross Southeast Colorado. Phil, thanks for being here. We've seen the video. We've seen a lot of the headlines. We know emergency responders are rescuing people out of their homes. We know FEMA's on the ground there. There's a lot going on. Where does the Red Cross fit into things in the big picture right now? You know, Bart and Mallory, uh, first of all, our hearts go out to everybody affected by Hurricane Ian. What we are doing is partnering with FEMA and all of the emergency managers there. Uh, we have over 260 shelters as we speak. 33,000 spent the night last night alone uh, in one of our shelters. Mm -hmm. So we are there providing comfort kits, cots, blankets, and whatever is necessary. In fact, what we did before is uh, 83 truckloads uh, we were proactive in sending out there to make sure that we can uh, that we were well ahead of the storm. We know that there are volunteers from southeastern Colorado there right now. Do you know where they are and what they've been up to since they got there? Uh, primarily central Florida is where we're at right now. Uh, as you know, the hurricane is just shifted back to a hurricane mm -hmm. status, heading towards South Carolina. Uh, we're still on the ground in Puerto Rico. We're still, uh, you know, of course, in Florida and, and, be, and certainly heading to South Carolina. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. We don't put your workers in harm's way, obviously. Is it safe for them to go in at this point to start providing that immediate relief? Absolutely. Uh, we, once it is safe, we send our volunteers. Uh, we were very proactive, Bart, in making sure to send as many as possible. In fact, well over 30 in southern Colorado. I will be going very soon, probably. Wow. And, um, and uh, it's going to be going on months and months after the hurricane is over. Mm. We know you're seeing a landslide of phone calls yes. right now from people in our area who want to help. Inevitably, some of them probably cleaning out their closets right now <laughs> with getting all their old clothes together, but that may not be the best thing to do. What is the best thing people can do right now to help? Uh, you know, Bart Mallory, two ways they can help out. Certainly volunteers. That's what we need right now at the American Red Cross. Uh, you can go to 1-800-RED-CROSS and volunteer. And donations is what we need right now. Uh, 90999 for just $10. It goes right to, just type in Ian and in, uh, in, in text us, and uh, $10 will go right to that. $5 will go uh, to a blanket. $10 is what a meal uh, and whatnot. So that's what we need right now is donations. And just to be clear, when yeah. you say donations, we're talking about money. We're not talking about bringing canned food by the local Red Cross office, but money really goes the farthest right now? Absolutely. Okay. Money will go the farthest right now. Yes, sir. And you do expect to possibly send more volunteers. Uh, obviously, there's people in Florida right now. You said Puerto Rico, so they'll need more help. Absolutely. Mallory, we have so many people that will be deployed to this. This is uh, catastrophic. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we send. Uh, Southern Colorado has a large presence there. Right now, over 500 volunteers are there, uh, Red Cross volunteers and employees, and much more about to be sent. Uh, we'll be sending in the next probably couple of days. All right. You mentioned you're going down there. We wish you, uh, you. obviously, the best of <laughs> luck. Be careful. Stay safe. Keep the rest of the staff uh, from here safe. And let us know what else we can do for the American uh, Red Cross here in Southeast Colorado. Thanks Thank for being you. here, Phil. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for all you do. Thank you so much. One more time here are the ways you can help those affected by Ian through the Red Cross right now. Visit redcross.org. You can make a donation online directly to hurricane relief efforts. You can also call 1-800-RED-CROSS to donate by phone or text <clears throat> Ian to 90999 to make a $10 donation. Again, those donations help the Red Cross respond to and help people recover from this very disaster.